talk about Rex Taylor. He is an FI extraordinaire. If you don't know what that is, ask him. When we started the school, one of the things that uh, DT, Mr. Thompson, um, said, thought would be great was to have Rex, uh, Rex at the school. And I remember he didn't tell me who, and he said, I just hired this guy named Rex Taylor. I'm like, oh my God, Rex Taylor. I met Rex. I met Rex at Camp Mazano. And I went there, and I went, my dad sent me. It was a tripping camp. And I didn't like tripping. And I met this guy that looked exactly like John Denver. And he lived up in this cabin in the woods. And I will say he was, is the best canoe instructor, no offense to any other canoe instructors that might be in the audience tonight, the best canoe instructor I have ever seen. And then I remember Rex, and he showed up here. And Rex is uh, truly, I'm not patronizing him, but he is, because I don't want to give him too many compliments, but he is one of the best teachers I've ever seen. He has an amazing way. But he learned a lot of this from Pickering and from at an all-boys school at Crescent. And so he came in here, and his, his way, he's pretty set in his ways, Rex is. And he came in here, and, and I remember some kids, the first, I don't know, after the first you know, month or so, and you know, the Greenwood crew is a different crew than a private boys school. And I remember some kids saying, Rex said some really harsh things to me, and, and, and you know, they were upset about it. And I said, okay, I'll tell you something. I said, he is the most caring guy. And he doesn't have an inside filter, never has. You know, there's nothing, goes right from here. Or no, right from here and goes, and goes right out. But I said, I guarantee you, he's going to talk to you tomorrow morning. And let's see, I'm going to do an experiment. I guarantee you he's going to talk to you tomorrow morning. He's going to say, I woke up in the middle of the night feeling badly about what I said to you. I didn't sleep at all, but here's why I said what I did, because I care about you. I think you're so smart. She comes into my office mm, about just after lunch. She goes, it's like you scripted it. Did you tell Rex to say that? I said, no. I said, the minute Rex stops yelling or stops being like that, it means he doesn't care. One of the things about Rex is his unbelievable thoughtfulness. And if there's a, um, you know, he's the guy that will come up and say, hey, you know that, that little issue? I'll cover it for you. Or you know that kid um, who needs that stuff? He just said, just do it. I'll pay for it. And all that kind of stuff. He's a very, very thoughtful guy. Very, a very deep guy and that's part of why he is he, why he's this uh, for lack of a better word a bombastic teacher you know he'll be ranting and raving but he teaches so well he's smiling he's telling stories uh, one of the most difficult points of my uh, my um, uh, journey here at Greenwood is when my father passed away the chief and uh, it was up at winter camp and because it was in April and the kids were all up at the Leslie Frost Center and, uh, and I remember coming back into Kilku, and it was literally three or four days or a week after uh, my dad passed away. And I came back into Kilku, and along the road were all these hearts, different color hearts made out of construction paper, and wrecks all the way, and then my room at camp was covered. And every kid wrote a note about what they thought about Chief and me and Kilku and all that stuff. And I still have, obviously, I still have all of those notes, but I remember Rex. And that's Rex right there. He took the time. He cared so much. And so Rex is leaving at the top of his game, but I think he's very proud of it. I know he knows that the whole thing is bigger than him, and he's always been that way at Camp Mazinaw. Um, but I know Rex leaves a real legacy of, of a care of the outdoors, of stewardship of the outdoors, and I know that he will leave with us and K-Way and all the people that are going to take over his role in outdoor education here at Greenwood. Um, how important it is to the school. That's something that uh, we, will, we will never get rid of, that it will always be one of the things that we truly thrive on here at Greenwood is, is outdoor ending.